I, I'm really looking at days, possibly weeks of life left. I first thought was, well, maybe I quit. Maybe I just say, hey, you know, is it worth putting myself $20,000 in debt not to accomplish anything? And then I thought, no, because if I, if I quit, I'm saying it is over and I don't have a chance. And I, I wanna believe I have a chance. I, I don't wanna believe that this is it, that, that tonight's my last night or tomorrow's my last day. And uh, I have, a, I have a, a really neat son who encouraged me to go back to school he was all excited, he walked campus with me while we were looking into to starting school before school started. And um, if I quit school, I uh, have to tell him why. And I'm <laughs> quite frankly not ready to tell him why. So uh, I, I, I can't throw in the towel yet. So for me, I kind of made it, well, let's see how I do on my first quiz. So I. Uh, Got home, and I'm not used to this whole internet thing. You guys are gonna crack up. You know, you got this older guy coming back to school, and you know, I gotta do my first uh, internet quiz, and I, I'm on there, and I'm doing the quiz, and my disease creates a tremendous amount of pain, and normally they would give me some pain management regimens, but because of the new situation, they need to, they need to see what kind of pain I'm in, because I need to go to the hospital if I, my pain increases. So I'm not able to have that pain medication anymore. So. I, I came home in an extra, extraordinary amount of pain. Uh, you know, obviously my brain racing, here's all this information, and I've got to, I've got to do this lit test uh, for, for my class. And I sat down and I went through the test and I, I honestly wasn't even sure how well I did. So I kind of went, well, if I pass, it, it says a lot. It says that I can do this. And so later on that night, I guess the cool thing was, I've never had this happen before in school, but that night I, I knew the results. And uh, I managed to get an 80% on the test, which I wasn't thrilled about. You know, obviously I'm a perfectionist and uh, wanted the A, but um, it told me that I can do it. And uh, I figured what I'll do is every week, I'm just gonna see if I make it. And if I make it to the next week, then See what I can do the following week and just take it a day at a time, a, a breath at a time. Uh, my disease makes it to where oftentimes getting up in the morning is very difficult. I have to convince myself why I'm gonna get out of bed and why I'm gonna face the pain I have to face just to walk, just to breathe. And it, it's always when I, I look at my son or I look at my family or when I, when I you know, it's as silly as it sounds when I see a butterfly. I mean, any, any of those things just uh, really, remind me that, that every second of breath is precious. And I've decided even though it would almost make sense to not continue at school in a lot of ways because I, I may not get to my goal and you know, through all this pain and, and what little time I have left, I'm gonna be doing finals, I'm gonna be in there with everybody else, you know, cramming away and studying. But I am so looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to each day that I can um, learn something new to take life in a way that I've never taken it before. So uh, as I sit here, I, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I, I, I'm gonna stay in school. I'm gonna ride this out. And then hopefully next week, I can report back to you and say, hey, I'm still around. <laughs> and it was worth it. It was worth that week. So that's where I'm at. And I hope maybe by watching this, it may inspire you to Take a few seconds and look around and appreciate something you've never appreciated before. Uh, as I, I see every day something I, I've never seen before because I don't know if I do have a tomorrow. So uh, hopefully uh, next week I can tell you how my next week goes. I've got a couple tests coming up. I got uh, a test in ancient Greek. I, I, I'm not so sure how well I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna spend the rest of the day studying and seeing what I can, can accomplish and um, we'll go from there. Take care and uh, See you next week.